hey guys so welcome again and from this session we are going to launch a complete course on azure deployment like like how you can deploy your website completely on microsoft azure and the main motive of this video is to learn yourself about azure from the very basic if you does not know the name even you can learn from this video so for the purpose of microsoft azure if you does not know the main use of it is to deploy your website to a public server right as you all know that we can host our static website into github but we cannot host the dynamic one the dynamic website into github for this you need a server also for the good look of the website like something.com we also need a domain and then at the very end we have to put the ssl the lock padding on the website so we are going to cover everything in this playlist the main target that to create a playlist for this video or this course i think so without wasting time let me clear the topics right so what are the topics it could be first of all understanding the project structure so the mic might be antivirus let's leave this and now again come topic first of all understanding the project folders or the project about the project what you i am going to host and the second one is to create a virtual machine and i have already created a video on how to create a virtual machine on microsoft azure and i am going to attach the video link with this video and then we have to install the dependencies for the website to run on the server like if this website is going to run on php so we need xamp server and because the xamp is a package we cannot run the xamp on the server we have to install the apache then php then php my admin and also mysql and then we are going to create the host files these files are on my local machine but the host files are bit different and the path are going to be absolute right so we are going to create them and then we are deploy them in the server and try to log in with our website and at the very end we are going to point the domain with the server and put the ssl and at the end of the video we are going to use a easy trick to easily ssh into the machine so first of all let's open the zam and let me show what this project does so localhost and matrix and list so this is my project the values are set to zero by default and this is going to multiply of two transpose matrix right so let's do some easy multiply application okay 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 we are good to go and let's multiply and you can check the values are also here you can revisit again or match the value if you have entered correctly or not and that's it so you can also clear the screen and also a contact button so this is the project all about and i have created this using tailwind css and thereafter the npm build command 
right so this is the complete folder the dist folder is our complete package so now let's create a virtual machine as I have already created a virtual machine I am going to continue with this in the video but if you don't have and don't know also how to create a virtual machine you can refer to my previous video so my this virtual machine name is matrix so this is the IP of this machine you can check if I paste it here it is running some error right because there is nothing installed so now let's SSH into it so first of all open git bash and use I have to SSH into this virtual machine so you have to enter the username I have put the username as this and let's copy now it asks for a yes no and now ask for a password make sure you remember the password yes I have successfully SSH into my machine so there is nothing error if you get any kind of error don't forget to ping me in comment now let's install the dependencies so what are the need as my website is run on PHP I first of all need the Apache so as you can check this is Ubuntu 18.4 so let's run the apt update command already and open the official documentation uh, how to install Apache Ubuntu you can check this website how to install Linux Apache MySQL PHP a complete documentation so yes sudo apt update the far very fast command you need to run in the server near. now let's install apache okay so shift insert now let's install press y let it done in this section we are going to install the dependencies and conclude the video and the rest of the section like install the host files into the server we are going, going to continue ok now let's install the first of all allow the traffic this is the list and we have to install allow the apache fold get the access about the uh, apache full and now let's allow okay rules updated and you can check this ip with the apache server right so if you paste it into your website i mean browser you can check this website the apache is successfully installed into your server okay now let's no need to find your public IP address because you already know about it now let's install mysql ok now shift insert press y again this completely depends on your network speed so yeah it successfully downloaded I mean installed ok now let's secure our website ok now validate password now 
place a password right so media now go to password okay so yes i am going to continue yes remove the anonymous user and disallow root login remotely no i need to login remotely so i should not disallow this so disallow root login you want to disallow root login remotely no i want to allow okay now remove test database no need to remove now reload privilege table okay all done so you have done successfully so you can go into mysql right now you can check yes okay now you can exit or enter any sql command okay okay we have to use any database okay leave it now going to continue the rest installation let's install php this why again and make sure to give the priority of php file before html file right so let it install first Yeah, all set. Now I am prefer with Vim. So going to Vim. Okay, now press I and change the HTML file with PHP file and PHP file within HTML file. Press colon. First press Escape colon W. And yeah, you are good to go. Now it's asked for to restart the server, so let's do it. Yeah. Now ask for PHP extension. Okay, we successfully install the PHP. So this video is going to be large and I have to conclude here and in the next section we are going to install PHP MyAdmin and also SQL or MySQL and continue to the rest. So thanks keep supporting and subscribing make sure you subscribe so that you get notification of the next video till then take care.